If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out what Andrew Tate has to say about the reinstatement of Alex Jones on X, formerly known as Twitter, by Elon Musk. It is very problematic when Muslims partner up with non-believers. And I'm not saying that to steer more controversy or to further any separation and division here. Not at all. But my point of the story is... They are good Christians, and yes, Muslims and Christians can have alliances. However, when we look at Elon Musk or we look at Alex Jones, we don't see true Christians that would be in support of Islam. Quite the opposite. Those people are opposed to Islam and they're supporting another party. More about that after we saw what Andrew Tate has to say about Elon Musk and Alex Jones. Well, Alex is certainly a, a friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. And I'm extremely happy he's back. I've celebrated that publicly, but Alex nailed it. Elon is taking the biggest risk here. It takes unlimited energy to propagate lies. You have to continually repeat them and you have to continue to try and falsify information and hide the truth to keep lies afloat. And this simple purchase, you call it simple, the purchase of a simple website has literally cracked the matrix in real time. And it becomes extremely difficult now to run the psyops they were previously running and enslave the populace, which is their primary goal. So Elon is a hero, absolutely. And the risks you are taking, Elon, I don't think many people at home actually understand the gravity of the risks you are taking because your ability to speak freely is heavily leveraged against your insignificance. You're only allowed to speak if nobody listens to you. And if you get big and people start listening, they're going to come at you hard. And I think I'm not completely versed, but from what I understand, Elon's already suffering the lawfare tactics, which they're going to do. They're going to keep pulling out the hat to try and slow him down. So he says that the purchase of a website has cracked the matrix in real time. All of this, of course, very loaded language. You associate, obviously, the film The Matrix with this, and therefore you really believe that you're breaking out of this dunya, ultimately, by following this advice. But the reality is what? Elon Musk reinstated Alex Jones. Fantastic. Alex Jones and Elon Musk are all Israel supporters. That's the whole point here. Back in the day, Alex Jones actually used to talk about the Israeli occupation. He used to talk about the atrocities being committed by Israel against the Palestinian people. But nowadays, of course, he has circled back and he's not mentioning it whatsoever. Elon Musk, I just did a video on this, flew out to Israel and apologized to the whole world because there are anti-Semitic tweets on X. But that, as pathetic as it this wouldn't be half as bad. The point of the story is that he sided with Israel and that he was justifying the atrocities being committed by the Israeli government on the children of Gaza, on the civilians, the non-combatants that are being massacred, families being torn apart. So therefore, in the case of Elon Musk, this went beyond just bystanding because you have some people that are just weak minded and they don't want to speak out because they don't want to risk their careers. So therefore, they do not want to take a side. They want to be professional fence sitters. Fine. However, within the case of Elon Musk, we saw that he sided with Israel. And therefore, once you side with Israel, you are a Zionist. And now you have to look into the whole establishment of America. And of course, I have to take care of what I'm going to say here on this platform. But the point of the story is you will see that America is in the hands of Zionists. This is why every single president within America had to pledge allegiance to the state of Israel. This is why America is, of course, the biggest supporter of of Israel. And now again, I want to circle back to the rhetoric of Andrew Tate here, breaking out of the matrix. The matrix has been broken. How has the matrix been broken? You're talking about the establishment falling apart, panicking. The establishment is Zionist. Elon Musk is a Zionist. He's in direct support of Israel. He's in opposition to your Muslim brothers and sisters, Andrew Tate, to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. He's in direct opposition to that. He is justifying and enabling the massacre and the genocide on those people. So tell me, please, how is he a hero now? What has he done? Has he freed the Palestinians? No, quite the opposite. He has reinstated Alex Jones on Twitter. It's really unfortunate to see that the conservatives of America are successful in their attempt 
to pull Andrew Tate into their camp, not understanding that this is a false dialectic of course. America is lost, man. America has lost God. Now the liberals are fighting against the conservatives. One must be right here. If you're a liberal, you think that the conservatives are absolute idiots, backwards idiots. They don't understand progress. If you're a conservative, you think that the liberals are all insane. Oh, they're coming for our children. Oh, they're degenerates, etc., etc., you name it. This is a false dialectic. Those two groups are fighting, not understanding who is truly ruling them. The Matrix, the Matrix, the Matrix. Who is the Matrix, man? Everybody in a top position within that Matrix is a Zionist, is a Israel supporter. Oh, I forgot. She doesn't like Israel, I forgot. So right now, in this critical time, instead of citing with truth, citing with God, you're getting pulled into this false dialectic between the right and the left. Don't you see how pathetic this is, man? Islam is not about politics. We don't take a position within American politics. We couldn't care less. Who cares for the right? Who cares for the left? Oh, I'm the center. Nobody cares for your politics. Islam, the deen, is a perfect way of life. Don't you understand? We have spiritual guidance. We have social guidance. We have the Sharia, which is God's law. We don't need a democracy within Islam. We do not need false man-made politics that we adhere to. Nobody is right. You're talking about the red pill, taking the red pill, breaking out of the matrix. What are you talking about, man? Is the red pill really you wake up to? Oh, liberals. <laughs> no, the real pill is the God pill, of course. You swallow the God pill, you understand there is only one God worthy of worship and everything else follows. This God has revealed the Sharia, the law to us. We do not follow man-made laws. We see right from wrong because Allah has revealed it to us. This is what we follow. And there we of course see that when a Muslim brother is oppressed, it is our obligation to fight and to free those brothers of ours. So therefore, yet again, you're siding with disbelievers, you're siding with people that are actively oppressing our brothers and sisters. The Muslims have conquered everywhere they go and they displace everybody else. And it's what they do and their religion teaches them to be friendly and nice until their numbers get up to 10 percent then they push everybody out of the cities they're in and then finally out of the countries they're in and they take over because andrew tate accepted islam we of course accept him as a brother in islam we are all learning of course we're all learning every day we're trying to get better that is clear however andrew tate is exposed to a lot of powerful people such as elon musk but again, even Elon Musk is not truly powerful because he has to bow down to Zionists. He has to apologize there like a little weakling. He has to play by their rules. He has to obey what they tell him. He talks about free speech on the one hand and he allows certain things, of course, on X. But he himself has to publicly apologize and humiliate himself in front of the Israeli government and tell his viewers that it's absolutely justified that Israel is using extensive force against against civilians. So I can only hope and we should all make dua of course for our brother Andrew that he doesn't get further pulled into this conservative American mindset which justifies Israel's actions, which justifies everything that is perceived conservative but fails to understand that there is one truth above all. Worship one God alone. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. Once you understand that, you understand that everything else is underneath, is subordinate. Nothing is on a higher priority than God himself. But this is what people forget within the West. The West is a godless society. Andrew Tate has understood that. This is why he reverted to Islam initially. But now it is time to fully understand what it means to submit your will to God, what it implies to be a Muslim. And as a Muslim, we should never side with those disbelievers that hate our faith. All of those conservatives, be it Elon Musk, be it Alex Jones, they're all making fun of Islam. Look at Alex Jones mocking Muslims. You know what Muhammad did, who was basically, I'm not attacking Muslims, but it's true. He was illiterate and he lived there at the crossroads in Mecca, basically going after uh, the, 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 the trains, the camel trains, uh, you know, that came through from the east going west. And he would rob the caravans and he just smartly said, what? I'll control people and I'll take a cosmology of the dominant 
religions of Judaism and Christianity, and I'll adopt that and have my own religion. Yeah. And within a generation after his death, they control the whole Middle East. Those people will only accept you if you believe the way that they do, essentially a lack of belief. And if you proceed to follow their footsteps, unfortunately, you will end up just like them. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box to further support. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.